Hi, everyone. My name is Smriti Pramanik, and I am so, so excited to be interviewing this mentee-mentor pair today. Um, we have Joanna and Tejal. Um, a quick intro on myself. I am a mentor with magic, and I'm also a board apprentice. I was a mentee with the program when I was in middle school many years ago now, and I am currently a software engineer working on search at Google. Um, let's kick it off with an intro from Joanna. Um, hi, I'm Joanna, and I'm a 12th grade student in Kirk, Poland. Um, and for the past few months, I've been working with Tejal on my project. Thank you. And Tejal? Yeah, so I'm Tejal Chinoy, and I've been a mentor with Magic for the last uh, few years. Um, so I've spent the bulk of my career in the tech field. Um, various roles, uh, but hands-on software development was my favorite. But since the last couple of years now, I've transitioned, uh, given up my corporate uh, gig, and now I actually focus on projects uh, like Magic because I'm very passionate about encouraging uh, more women uh, in the STEM fields. Thank you. And I, I should have led with this, but congratulations, the presentations just happened. And it was fantastic to hear about the journey you two went through and what you were able to accomplish and what you'll be continuing to do. So I encourage everyone watching this interview to go and check out the presentation. Um, and we'll cover some of the experience here too. So Joanna, can you start us off with an intro of um, what the present, like a summary of what your project was? Uh, yeah, so I want to learn uh, mainly light curve library for Python, uh, which is used to analyze light curves of stars. And my focus here was binary star systems, which are systems of two stars uh, showing common gravity center. And as the second part of the project, uh, we created my personal website. Thank you. And what was your inspiration for um, this project in astronomy? I personally had some experience with working uh, in astronomy on binary star systems, and that included uh, also creating the graphs manually, uh, which was a really long and annoying process. And Light Curve Library uh, is supposed to speed up the process and make it easier to analyze the graphs later. And I was really curious to see other ways how to do the same that I previously had to do. Awesome. Was there anything as you were learning how to do these things with Python and coding? Um, was there anything that surprised you? Was there anything that was really challenging or even maybe easier than you thought it would be? Um, it was definitely challenging to find actually information about Lightcliff Library. Uh, there's not many res resources and also uh, not a lot of objects um, to try it out on. Uh, it's still pretty new and uh, you can only uh, use directly objects that were observed in two missions. Uh, so it's really hard to learn, especially independently. And um, creating a website turned out to be surprisingly easy, maybe because uh, Tejo had already experience with that and was helping me a lot. Thank you. Tejal, for you, was there anything, had you, um, did you know about this field, this particular part of astronomy? Was it new to you? And on the coding aspect too, had you done things with data visualization and data analysis? So the short answer is no. Um, <laughs> I actually uh, have uh, no major background in astronomy. In fact, when, um, they were matching us up. I did uh, mention up front that, you know, I will not be able to guide her uh, through the astronomy portions of things, but she had also indicated that she was interested in coding. And that's definitely something where I felt uh, confident that I could help out. Uh, but I mean, she's giving me a lot of credit right now, but a lot of what you saw today in the presentation was completely Joanna, very much self-driven. Um, as I said, you know, I knew nothing about, I actually had not word that, uh, heard the term binary stars before. So when we talked about it, I actually had to Google and research and find out, you know, what we were dealing with. 
Um, but like I said, she is definitely very self-driven. She did a lot of the research. Um, we did kind of work out, you know, the steps of the projects and how we were going to go about approaching it, what she needed to learn to get to uh, where she wanted to go. So I definitely was able to help her uh, plan that out. But as far as the actual content, as far as astronomy and binary stars go, it was all Joanna. Um, and then she, as I mentioned in the intro, she's a very quick learner. So, you know, she picked up, she did take a few classes on Code Academy. Um, she went through the exercises, she picked it up right away. Um, same with actually what happened was we'd made such great progress that by midpoint of our uh, session, uh, we said, okay, you know what, we can actually do a personal uh, website. And so we added that on, which is actually on its own, a uh, pretty large, you know, project by itself. Um, and uh, there too, you know, she uh, she's a quick learner. So, <laughs> so we were, and she was, uh, she did put in a lot of the hard work. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, fantastic work. And then I think also kudos to Dejil for, you know, something maybe out of your comfort zone and like also being able to guide and support Joanna through that. It's a, it sounds like you both are able to learn from each other and that's a very special experience and partnership that the two of you could have. Um, speaking of the two of you together, I know that you worked for the most part, you just met in person, I'm guessing around now for final presentation. So um, where, how was it working, uh, you know, remotely and also across time zones? Maybe a question for Joanna first. Yeah. Yeah, I think with the time zones, it was a bit of an issue because we have a nine, nine hours, hours difference. Yeah. Uh, yes, and because of my schedule, it was really only possible for me to meet either very early mornings or late evenings, and that took some adjusting, but we figured out a time that works for both of us, and it kind of stayed the same with some small adjustments. Yeah. Yeah, nice job. And how did you, I think you're our first mentee from Poland, so how did you find out about the program and what drew you to MAGIC? Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I found the program. I've uh, taken part in two programs that were also focused on getting more girls into STEM. And I'm pretty sure um, someone there recommended Lit Magic. And it seemed like a good opportunity. I like the freedom of it being a mentoring project one on one and not a specific subject uh, from the beginning. Um, and yeah, I decided to apply, got in, and then. We're here. Awesome. Well, it was very, very happy to have you as part of the program. Um, now that you have graduated from this program, do you have any advice for future mentees? Mm, I think just to be flexible, uh, both with your project and uh, with your learning process, because uh, I wasn't exactly sure uh, how it was going to go. Um, because it's all new concepts to me. I I can't plan from the beginning how long is each part is going to take. And we ended up with getting a chance to create basically another project. And uh, yeah, just be flexible with that. Yeah, that's and that's something that's important, I think, for all of us throughout life in general and work yeah. and in our personal lives. Um, so that's really, really great advice. Do you two have anything planned while you're together in Krakow right now? Uh, <laughs> Any hikes? Yes. A couple things that you both enjoy. So actually we've been here now for, I've been here for a couple of days. So we have spent this entire weekend together. Uh, Joanna has been our personal guide and she's shown this beautiful city to us. Uh, and then Today I got to meet her parents and actually spend um, the entire day with them. And so it's been, it's just been an amazing experience for me as well. Yeah. So getting to know her and, you know, basically uh, it's my first time here in Krakow, uh, Poland and getting to uh, basically have somebody show you around and it's a beautiful, beautiful city. And I've also, uh, so the last four months we've been kind of working together and we, uh, did 
chat about, you know, uh, things other than the project. And then to actually finally meet in person and, you know, connect all over again. It's it's just been a great experience. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I'm so happy that you two could meet in person. And thank you for sharing your experience and taking the time for the interview today. Um, have a wonderful rest of the day. Congratulations once again. Thank you.